Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a budget with me for the first paycheck in March. In this video, I'll be budgeting my boyfriend's paycheck and in my next um, budget with me, I will be budgeting my paycheck. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I have my laptop here for my calculator um, because I don't have like an actual calculator and I'm filming on my phone. So we are going to be budgeting a total of 1,600 and $65 today. So the first things that I wanna take care of are bills. So for rent, um, we are actually getting paid three times in March um, because of just how the days fall. It's a magic month. So um, we're gonna be putting less into rent for each paycheck. So I already calculated this before because in February I was kinda already looking at the numbers. So, rent will be getting $192, and then car payment is the same. It always gets $217 or $216. Car insurance is always the same as well, $113. Internet um, is always the same too, $54. Uh, miscellaneous we are not no miscellaneous is uh, my utility envelope because I don't have one that says utilities on it so I think I'm going to since this is a bigger check and he actually got paid more but we're keeping certain things in his uh, checking account so this is the leftover so utilities I was gonna budget $50 for from my paycheck but I think I'm gonna split it so I'm gonna put 20 from his and then like 30 from mine probably for utilities and then um, another bill that we don't have envelopes for because we keep it in our account which I don't know why I didn't do this before but Verizon is $80 and then subscriptions will be getting $16 and that is it for the bills so I'm gonna add this up okay so the total is 692 and then I'm gonna subtract from our um, starting amount to see what we have left remaining. So we have $973 left. I'm gonna skip month ahead and over budget. And emergency, um, I'm just gonna do $10. And then savings, we're gonna do a big chunk. We're gonna do $225. And I think that's it. Yeah, because we're not doing taxes. So 225 plus 10 is 235. And then remaining is $738. So that is it for like our bills and everything. So now I'm going to take out gas. And we always budget 40 for that. I'm not going to, I don't have an envelope for that because we keep that in our checking account. So now we have $698 left. So now we're gonna go into our short-term sinking funds. So he did tell me earlier that um, I can put $20 in my personal envelope. So that's getting 20. And then he also told me that for his, he wants 253. He's trying to save up for a PlayStation, a PlayStation 5. So um, next is household. And I think I want to do $50 for household, but that normally comes out of my paycheck, so I think, and he's okay with this, um, I think I'm going to split it again like I did the utilities, so I'm going to put uh, 20 bucks in household, 
um, date night. I think, so I do want to go somewhere because there's this cafe in town and they're going to have fish and chips and I really want to try it. So I think we're going to do $40 for that. Um, home is for our washer and dryer payment. So I'm going to put $50 in there. And then hair, we did try like a higher end shampoo and conditioner and it's like, we can really tell a difference in our hair. Um, so I think I wanna put maybe just like $10 in here. I'll put some money from my envelope um, in hair as well. So let me like subtract these to see what I have so far. Cause I've just been like doing numbers. Okay, so we have 20 for me. 253 20 40 50 oops 10 okay um and then he did tell me he wants to put in my envelope this is his envelope for me so like for gifts and stuff so he said $20 okay Milo, we need to stuff Milo's envelope too. I'm gonna put, he needs, we need to get like a cage for him. Like if we need to take him to the vet, we don't have like a carrier for him. So I'm gonna put $50 in there. And then I think that's gonna be it for this binder. I haven't stuffed rainy day or gifts in a long time. So, okay, I need to add these all up. Okay, so total. I really need to get like an actual calculator here soon, but we'll see when I can actually stuff my personal envelope. I don't really like putting money in for myself when I have like all these bills to pay and stuff. So total is $463. So remaining we have 698 minus 463. 235 to work with. I'm gonna bring that down to zero because um, that's just how we budget our paychecks. So I'm going to go into long-term sinking funds and we're actually going to start stuffing vacation again. We haven't done that in a long time. So vacation can get, let's do $30. And then since we're going to go to zero, I'm going to subtract it as I go. Okay. The beach, he said he wanted to put $20 in. Um, so some of these categories, he tells me how much, and the others, I just put an amount. Um, so beach is 20. So we have 185 left. Okay. Car maintenance is depleted because we had an accident and we had to use all of our cash in car maintenance. Um, so we're fine and everything. We had to just get, um two new tires and rims, so we have to pay that back. So what I'm gonna do for car maintenance is still stuff car maintenance, but also put the money towards our payments in here at the same time. Um, because I don't have like another um, envelope like for debt or for like, you know, anything like that. So I'm just gonna put them together since they're kind of the same thing, but I'm gonna separate them so I know um, what money goes for what. So for car maintenance, we're putting in $20. And then um, for the debt that we have for that, we're going to put $100. So really, I could have just put $120. But I want to make sure that my denominations are correct. Like when I go, I mean, it'll be um, fine either way. Because for the $100, I'm just going to pull out a $100 bill. And then the $20 is just going to be $20. Um, but I want to make sure that they're separated on my sheet. So I remember to separate them in here. So... Yeah, that's that. Car registration is going to be getting 25 because um, he needs his new sticker in May and I need mine this month. I already have the money for mine. So I just like calculated how much we need um, from each check for him to get, um, like for him to be able to have enough money by the time he needs his sticker. 
So moving on to, we're skipping Christmas. Health, we are trying to always stuff. It'll get just $20. I don't know if I've been subtracting from here. I kind of like forgot. So let's do that again, just to see where I'm at. Okay, I have $20 left. So I think the last envelope I'm gonna stuff is house. Yeah, so we're just gonna put that $20 into house. Um, so the total is 235 and we have zero left. Okay, yep, so that is um, our budget for his paycheck. And so now I'm gonna go through um, and do the denomination so I know what to pull out at the bank. So rent 192, 150, 70, 90, 12, car payment 210, 15, 16, 17, car insurance 100, 110, 11, 12, 13, internet is 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, Utilities is 20. Verizon, we're going to keep in his checking account, so I'm not going to put anything in here because I'm not going to pull it out in cash. But next payday, we are going to pull, we're going to split it in two. 80 is a whole payment, so we're going to start pulling out $40 in cash each paycheck. So we don't have to pull out the whole $80 in one paycheck. And then I'll just go to the ATM and deposit it, and then he can pay his phone payment. Um, subscriptions is getting 16, so 10, 15, 16. Emergency is 10, savings is 225, 100, 225. Gas stays in the checking account, so we're gonna skip that. Um, I'm getting $20, so we'll just do a 20. He is getting 253, so we're gonna do five 20s, because I like to do 20s, 10s, and then Oh, and then we're going to do a 100 for the PlayStation that he wants because that's going to be separated, I think, in his spending envelope. And then 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 1, 2, 3. Okay, 253. There we go. Household is going to be getting... 20, home is 50, oh, I skipped date night, that's getting 40, hair is 10, Aya is 20, Milo is 50, I'm going to do a 50 for that, vacation is 30, beach is 20, car, 120, Car registration is 25, health is 20, and house is 20. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so then I'm going to write this down on another sheet of paper. So when I go to the bank, um, I get the correct denominations. So that is it for my budget with me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I will have a cash stuffing out for this paycheck, so be sure to turn notifications on so you are alerted when I post that video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next one.